Todd, the day after the election, the Attorney General comes forward and he charges two candidates. One of them tried to get on the ballot and didn't make it, uh, Clayton Walker from out near Rapid City, and Annette Bosworth, who did make it on the ballot with perjury and false and forging instruments. They waited until the day after the election to do this. Both of these are felonies. Both of these people could end up with jail time and substantial fines. I find it interesting we wait until after the election for these charges to come forward. Well, the thought, Rick, is that the Attorney General doesn't want to disrupt the will of the people. and I'm, I'm not going to argue that. I'm not sure I buy it. But on the same token, the candidates have an obligation to follow the law and get on the ballot the way our law says. And if you can't do that, I don't think you ought to be there, let alone be elected, if you can't do that one simple thing. Thing. And another point, Rick, it's just an odd punctuation to what has been one of the oddest campaign seasons in memory. The talk of Sioux Falls, 11-4-0-K-S-O.